The look of United States currency has evolved over the years, be it with minor design changes or major adjustments to prevent counterfeiting. One thing that stayed constant, though, is the individual featured on each denomination, until recently. While the debate about whether Harriet Tubman will replace Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill rages on, we thought it'd be fun to consider who might appear on the $2 bill if Thomas Jefferson ever got the boot. We'll start by keeping with the presidential motif. It might make sense to put president number two on bill number two, so John Adams would be a possibility. After all, he led the American Revolution that achieved independence from Great Britain. But he's already on the $2 bill, right here on the back. Richard Nixon may not deserve to be on a piece of currency, but this quirky bill may work for Tricky Dick, and it's not like he didn't always have two fingers in the air. How about the man who became famous for finishing number two in an election, especially after being touted as the winner? That would be Dewey, as in Thomas E. Dewey. It'd be sweet revenge over Truman if we could make this happen. How about sports? If we can put athletes on stamps and cereal boxes, we should certainly be able to put them on currency. There are plenty of great number twos around, like Derek Jeter in baseball, in basketball, Moses Malone, football, Matt Ryan. Rusty Wallace won 37 races in cars with a number two, so he definitely qualifies. In entertainment, why not emphasize the number two by celebrating a famous pair? How about Laurel and Hardy, Abbott and Costello, Sonny and Cher, Bert and Ernie? Or you could go back to solo icons like Deuce Bigelow, or perhaps none other than number two himself, from the Austin Powers movies, of course. Failing all that, let's include the legend known best for having two memorable somethings, Dolly Parton. The list to choose from doesn't stop there. How about Buzz Aldrin, the second man on the moon? Clarence Thomas, the second black Supreme Court justice? James Garfield, the second president to be assassinated? Or even Bill Clinton, the second president to be impeached? Oops, gotta keep the politics bipartisan so let's go with Marla Maples, Trump's second wife. Finally, what if the Treasury decided to ignore humans altogether? Well, you could go the holiday route and go with two turtle doves, the science route with helium, the second most abundant element in the universe, or Venus, the second closest planet to the sun. Food pairs could also be attractive. So cookies and milk, peanut butter and jelly, surf and turf, or even spaghetti and meatballs would be fitting items to adorn our most unusual piece of currency. Finally, how about the most famous second second of all? The vice president is known as second in command. So who was the second vice president ever? Well, that would be Thomas Jefferson. Not a bad choice, if we must say so ourselves. Tell us who you think should be on a new $2 bill in the comments below.